In the 1830s, the first photographers used light-sensitive chemicals to capture images on paper. Today, machines do much the same, but with amazing speed, accuracy, and versatility. It's a tried-and-true method many people still prefer to make their memories into pictures. The photo lab receives envelopes containing rolls of film for developing. Processing will turn each exposure into a negative image and then a positive. That positive is what we know as a photograph. A scanner takes a digital photo of the order details specified on the packages. It tracks things such as the print size and finish, and the number of copies you ordered. A conveyor then sorts the envelopes into bins, grouping them with similar orders. Next, a machine extracts the film rolls from the metal capsules in total darkness. Exposing the film to light would ruin the photos. The envelopes go into bundles so they can later be rematched with the right pictures and negatives. Here's what the machine looks like inside. A blade cuts open the metal capsule and another slices off the leader. The machine unravels and lines up as many as 60 meter long films end to end. A sticker joins the ends and identifies each film with a barcode. The machine measures the assembled strip, then winds it onto a reel inside a metal box. Another machine unwinds the reel and runs it under a non-damaging infrared light so that a technician can check for tears. Just one tiny tear could jam the machine and ruin all the photos. If the tech does find a tear, he repairs it by hand. He puts his arms in the machine's little darkroom so as not to expose the film to regular light. First, he applies tape to reattach the area. Blades then cut the tape evenly on both sides. The worker is able to see what he's doing on a TV monitor hooked up to an infrared camera inside. Developing the exposures requires four chemical baths still in the dark. In the first, sulfates make the image appear as a negative. The second includes acetic acid to halt the effect of the sulfates. The last two baths preserve the image and rinse away chemical traces. To print the pictures, workers load the negatives into yet another machine. This one contains light-sensitive paper. All it takes is a flash to transfer the image. But that light is powerful, almost as bright as the sun. A sensor instantly adjusts the intensity to correct any improper exposure by the photographer. To develop the prints, the paper goes through four chemical baths similar to those used for the negatives. One bath reveals the image, another stops that process, and two more preserve the image and rinse off the chemicals. What's different this time is that the paper then heads into an oven to dry for two minutes at 71 degrees Celsius. Now a technician marks the pictures that are too bright, too dim, or out of focus, and removes them for redevelopment. Next, a machine unwinds the strip, scans the barcodes, and cuts out the pictures that belong together. It also cuts the negatives into numbered strips of four. A worker now slips the proper photos and negatives into an envelope. The computer shows her what to include, and a machine provides the original package the film came in. When you get your photos, you can check them against your original order. That way, you can ensure that everything's picture perfect.